Will taking an amino acid supplement break your fast? Now the quick answer to that question is yes, technically taking an amino acid will break your fast because there are some calories in amino acids, but you still might want to take them. It really depends on what your goals are when you're fasting. So in this video, let's first go over what are amino acids, and then we'll talk about why you might want to take them when you're fasting, even though they can slightly break your fast. Now, amino acids are the building blocks of protein. And you may have heard the term complete protein. A complete protein is a protein source that has all nine essential amino acids. There are essential and non-essential amino acids. The non-essential amino acids, the body can make on their own. But you have to eat and consume the non-essential amino acids for good health. Now, I know it can be confusing when you look at like an amino acid supplement. Some of the popular ones are like branch chain aminos, BCAAs. They've been popular for years, especially in the bodybuilding world. The branch chain amino acids are three essential amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And you typically look at, look at a supplement, they'll say like a two one one ratio, meaning that they're giving you double the amount of leucine compared to isoleucine and valine. And the reason is that leucine is one of the most important amino acids when it comes to muscle growth. See, leucine stimulates mTOR, like growth signaling within the body. The only issue is with branched chain amino acids that if you just take those, it's hard to produce protein synthesis because you're missing the other six essential amino acids. That's why now new research is showing that you're better off taking an essential amino acid supplement that has all nine of the essential amino acid. It has the leucine, has the acetylleucine, has the violine, plus the other six. Now, when you look at an amino acid supplement, it can be confusing because sometimes it says zero calories. Now, the reason why supplement manufacturers can say zero calories, because the rules are that it has to be like complete protein source. The fact that they're listing each amino acid separately, they don't have to state how many calories. So you are getting some calories when you're taking amino acids, even though the bottle of amino acids or the container of the amino acids says zero calories. Some supplement manufacturers will list the calories, some don't. So yes, when you take an amino acid supplement, this technically is gonna break your fast. Now let's go over why you might wanna take an essential amino acid supplement, even though it can slightly break your fast. It seems like all the new research when it comes to intermittent fasting is indicating that it's probably better off to consume protein earlier in the day. Due to your circadian rhythm, due to other factors, it helps you maintain muscle mass and even increase your muscle mass. But I have to say, I've experimented with like eating breakfast, breakfast and skipping dinner. It doesn't work for me. And I find it doesn't work for most people. It's so much easier. Let's say you're doing a 16-8, where you're fasting for 16 hours, taking in all your calories with an eight hour eating window. It's so easy to just skip breakfast, break your fast at 12 in the afternoon, have your last meal before eight in the evening. That's a typical strategy for a 16-8. But that means that you're not taking in any protein until 12 in the afternoon. So what you can do, which is a little hack I like to do, is I like to take an essential amino acid supplement. I do this from time to time, not all the time. So I'm getting all the protein while minimizing the calories. Maybe, maybe I'm taking in 10, 15, 20 calories, which will slightly break my fast, but it's gonna make sure that I have those amino acids to maintain muscle mass and maybe even increase my muscle mass throughout the day. I think it's a really good hack, especially if you're a person like me. I own a gym, I'm working out constantly. I'm really concerned about maintaining and not increasing my muscle mass, especially now that I'm getting older. I'm turning 60 over the summer. So I like to take an essential amino acid sometimes in the morning when I'm fasting. Now, what you really have to do is figure out why are you fasting? If your main goal for fasting is for autophagy, you know, the recycling of weakened, damaged organelles. Yes, taking an essential amino acid supplement is gonna mess up autophagy to some degree because the leucine, the mTOR, the, you're gonna go into somewhat of a growth phase from taking that essential amino acid. It could mess up autophagy. But when it comes to like 
maintaining muscle mass, when it comes to like keeping your body fat level lows, when it comes to just like reducing calories by not eating breakfast, you're still gonna get all that benefits. So I would say the only downside of taking in 10, 15, 20 calories with, it, with an essential amino acid supplement is that it might mess up your autophagy to some degree. So you really have to decide like, what are you fasting for? Now, if you wanna learn more about intermittent fasting and how to do it the right way, check out this video.